Colorado, where late today we learned that the actor who plays Batman, Christian Bale, made a surprise visit to see the survivors of the rampage at the movie theater. While across town, the man accused of that shooting is in solitary confinement, and we're learning new details about his bizarre behavior in jail. ABC's Dan Harris begins our coverage in Aurora. Dan. Diane, good evening. This surprise visit has sent a huge jolt of energy through this city in pain. The movie hero visiting with the victims of the real-life villain. Christian Bale, star of The Dark Knight Rises, had already publicly expressed his, quote, horror at the massacre carried out on the opening night of his hit movie. But tonight he has gone further than just issuing a statement, flying in to personally see the victims in the hospital. Meanwhile, ABC News has learned new details about the bizarre behavior of the man who allegedly modeled his massacre on the Joker. Tonight, inside the Arapahoe County Jail, where Holmes is being held in isolation, our sources say he was spitting at the guards so frequently that at one point they had to put a face guard on him. ABC News has also learned that inside the Aurora Police Headquarters, in the hours after the shooting, Holmes was staring at the wall with his eyebrows twitching, and that when investigators put evidence bags over his hands to preserve the gunpowder residue, he started using those bags as hand puppets. This could all be behavior that is indicative of some sort of psychotic episode. It might be that there's other stuff going on in his head. Today, the Washington Post says Holmes' mother had told her friends she worried for years about her son being socially isolated and wanted him in counseling. In the days before the massacre, mixed signals. On the one hand, eight days beforehand, a neighbor says Holmes was out looking for a new apartment. And two days before, he was spotted in this bar chatting sports. On the other hand, Holmes had a profile on dating site Match.com that read, Will you come visit me in prison? Meanwhile, tonight, extraordinary new stories from the survivors. Amanda Lindgren's boyfriend, Alex Tevis, sacrificed himself to save her. And he pulled me down, and he covered my head. And he said, shh, stay down, it's okay, shh, stay down. So I did. Do you think he knew that he was putting himself in danger for you? I know he did. He'd do anything for me. It is an incredible story. And, Diane, we do have a hopeful note tonight involving a woman named Katie Medley. She was seated in Theater 9, which is directly behind me, when her husband, Caleb, was shot right next to her. She has just given birth to a baby boy in the same hospital where her husband is being treated. No word yet on whether they've been visited by Christian Bale.